Hi, Warwick. Right, it's time to hit the road again. Uh, you're continuing your journey via India. Mm, we're back. Carl didn't exactly take the country last time we visited it, but he's got youth company now, so I'm sure he'll love it. Um, have a good time. Make sure he doesn't moan too much. All right, see you later. I just love the atmosphere already. You can just you can feel it. You can feel the energy, can't you? <laughs> I'm excited to see the hotel. <laughs> no idea, have you? You won't even see the hotel. Last time I was here, I saw more backs of toilet doors than I've ever seen in my life. You sort of want graffiti for something to read. I don't intend on using any toilets while we're out and about. Oh. Do everything at the hotel, done no, for the day. No control of your ass. The moment you land in <laughs> India, that is it. Full your control. ass has got a mind of its own. It just <laughs> comes with it. it, comes with every meal. You have a starter, main course, pudding. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is lovely. Our own palace. Oh, wow. Wait, nice. what? Yo, Reggie's a piece of shit. Oh, it's gorgeous. Just look at that view. It's, it's, it's stunning. It's sort of what I expected, I think, at the moment. It's full of life. You know, there's a certain energy you get here. And, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Has Warwick got that view? What view? It's view. Has Warwick got that? <laughs> look at it. Ricky's a it's like they've seen shit. you come in with all your camera kit and they think Antiques Roadshow's here or something. There's no reason for all this to be left out here. It sums up India for me, that. That's probably why they put those domes on the Taj Mahal, isn't it? To stop people putting shit on his roof. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Do you know what you've done with Carl, then? Oh, um, I've been having a look through the books. Um, something caught my eye, which was quite cool. Um, Laughter yoga. And it's actually been proven to cure depression uh, and sort of lighten the, the spirit and the mood. Oh. Oh, I'm hoping definitely. that Carl's gonna get involved and have a go at this and <coughs> we may well just see a difference in him uh, over, the, over the few days following. It's not a place that I think about coming for a good laugh. You don't see many laughy faces. And they should be with what you're wearing. It's my yoga pants. I'm like a fucking umpa lumpa. Even though I was laughing, it wasn't a genuine laugh. It was uh, more of a, a release of stress. <laughs> the annoyance of Warwick, in a way, just giving a chance to sort of yell out. It's more of a yell, far from a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> What does make you laugh? I saw a woman walking down the street with a pram and a baby fell out. No, it was quite old. It must have been about three or four or something. <laughs> <laughs> and she was on busy on the phone with a fag on, greasy air leggings, and she didn't notice. She sort of hit the curb and it fell out, and it, <laughs> it made me laugh and no one else saw it. It was like a little private joke just for me. <laughs> That's the problem with the world these days. You're not allowed to laugh at uh, things that you shouldn't really laugh at. That's true. And that's why that this is, is important true. in a way. We'll be doing this at home, because there's nothing you're allowed to laugh at anymore. <laughs> Laughing's dying out. Crying, everybody's at it on X Factor. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Knowles doing DIY or SOS. They give some fella in a wheelchair a new kitchen. Everyone's at it. It's like it's evolution. We're not laughing anymore. Not like we used to. Definitely not like that. That doesn't. When do you see old people laughing at home like that? It's a different side to India that I saw last time I was here. There was no laughing going on there. 
and that's that's a little bit of a niggle. Like he's having quite a nice time, but I just think you need to find some shitty things for him as well, just to give him a taste of that. And then let's do some laughing yoga there. Do you know what I mean? When he's shit in his pants. Let's have a laugh for it. Oh ho! Ha, ha, ha. Let's see him laugh then. Let's see how, how much this works in a toilet with no toilet roll, no toilet seat, no toilet sometimes, just a hole. That's what I want to see. Yeah. Huh? Do it again, do it again, you would still take it. Hi Warwick, um, since um, Mumbai is the home of Bollywood films, I've managed to pull some strings and get you a part in a new blockbuster that's being filmed while you're there. They've also agreed to give Carl a part too, but you might have to <laughs> help him out a bit and give him a bit of mentoring on being in the movies. All right, see you later, man. Cheers, bye. It's, it's really, it's an honour, I think, really, isn't it, to be invited to do that? I don't know how many Western people get to do that, but, yeah. I mean, I don't know where they've gone for me because, you know, the name Warwick Davis to having a film is quite, is quite cool as well. I don't know. There's more to acting than people think, and I, I think Carl's got under sort of some illusion that what I do is really easy and it's just dressing up and dancing around the silly characters, which it isn't. We're here for some rehearsals. Thank you very much. Well, just stick with me and be enthusiastic, OK? Well, what no, are we going to do? Uh, new steps, new songs. New song. New, new movie. I'll show you a step. One, two, three, start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, three, four. I think you just do one, one thing, you follow two. me. I am. Huh? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 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 you're just missing two, two or three beats from the start. One, two, three, start. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Very four. Very good. Very nice. Thank you very much. I know what you're doing wrong. You're not doing that as one beat. Uh, so it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's left hand mode. One, two, two three, four. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, you're a bit stiff. Yeah, so, very good. Enough. Enough your body. Oh, I wasn't following you. Look, I can loosen it. I'm really good. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want you to loosen up without the beats. Loosen up and be in the beats. You have to do exactly the same step. If everyone's doing the same dance, just have one person. Next. There's no point. No, it's about it being all on mass. No, but why not just have everyone having a good time? Uh, doing what they want, the music's there. You know looking. At the end of the day, the audience is going to be looking at that. I wish I could just come out when they're all doing that, then I come out and do something different. <laughs> Get some energy and then just sneak off again like that. Dancing is meant to be about, you know, expression. I get something different from the music than what Warwick gets. There's no way that I'm having it that Warwick's a better dancer than me. No way. Not in this world. I mean, look at that. Did you see that there? Not bad. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So, so. I don't care who you are. You won't remember that in the amount of time we had to learn it. If it was Ted Danson or Bruce Willis, they, they'd struggle with what I've had to take in. Sometimes that's what it's like when you're in, in, in this business, is you have to sort of... What do you mean, this business? You're not a singer and dancer, are you? No, no, but show business in general, you, it's like the show must go on. Whatever happens, you've got to get out there and deliver, and it's sort of not about going, oh, I can't today. It's going to look like the early stages of Britain's Got Talent or something, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Proper shit. <laughs> Speaking of. Well, when we do this Bollywood thing, right, just let me sort of take the lead on that, OK? No, I will do. Because, you know, I've had experience with acting. Oh, uh, here we go. Which bit here we go? You're shearing your acting stuff you. again. Carl, if we go somewhere where I feel it's your arena, then, of course, I would take your lead on it. That's well, yeah, I'd love to get you in your little bear outfit on a day like this. Sweating your bollocks off. Just stop hanging on about the bear, right? Star Wars was a film I did 30 years ago and it started my career. Without it, I wouldn't have a career. I mean, I'm, I'm remembered for playing an Ewok, but I'm remembered for a lot more. But all you seem to see me as is a bear. All right, an Ewok. That to me is a bear because Ewoks don't exist. That's in the sci fi fantasy world again. It's just made up shit. Do you like Harry Potter? It's the same thing. Of course I do, I was in all eight of them. Were you? Very good. Man, I haven't seen that either. 
So what are you doing up there in Hollywood? In Hollywood? Yeah. I haven't been doing anything in Hollywood recently. Okay. You've not been to Hollywood, I've been to Hollywood, yeah. Hollywood? Yes, I have. been in Hollywood. And what about you, Carl? Yeah, what about you, Carl? I'm more of an explorer than an actor. <laughs> Carl, you be here, we'll call you later. We'll give you scenes, okay? Come, come. Thank you. Huh? We are going to shoot the song first here. Mm -hmm. And then we... Uh, going to do the scenes and all. Okay. You are going to be the typical Indian road, roadside goon. My right hand. Right, right okay. Hand. Yeah, and yeah. I will make um, uh, Carl your hand. I think that's your right foot, Carl. So what? What? What's my part in the dance scene? You're kind of like a henchman for the main gangster. A gangster wouldn't wear that. Again, not believable. <laughs> fucking John Inman. This is all going quite well. Okay? That, with that, and that. It's a bit fruity. What's going on here? They literally took a pair of trousers yeah. and they just chopped the ends off. Gangster. That's just <laughs> wrong. So that's what you do with this? Well, it's like a kind of, yeah. Honestly, is is this? Uh, that's a no gangster. That's a gangster. Like this. this is a gangster. The other is a henchman. What does this look mean? Very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like more of a gangster than he does. He's supposed to be the henchman of the gangster. Right, rob him. <sighs> gangster. Yeah. What oh would you do God. if he pulled up to rob you? I'd. But you know what I do. <laughs> like, yeah, he'll look like a Taurus. He has a, yeah, like, he has a fucking, uh, what's that called? The fucking uh, beret or whatever on. What the fuck? Come on now, bro. Uh, the fuck? I'll be like Times Square's over there somewhere. <laughs> Dancing. Yeah. yeah? Are you making this up? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, if I could just dance I've me I've seen that way. before. <laughs> Yes. Yep, I've seen that before too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Come on! Hey. Am I a gangster or some sort of rent boy? Why have I got bruises and wearing an outfit like this? You, I, I reckon you're gay. I reckon we're both gay. I think that's something that we haven't been told. But I reckon we're both gay and that's why we're angry. <laughs> because we're part of a gang thing and we're not allowed to tell anyone that we're gay. Warwick, Hello. she's Shilpa, Hi. the Shilpa. dancer. Warwick Davis, okay. nice to meet you. He's a Hollywood star, and that's Carl. Ah. He's Hi, a very, Carl. he's a newcomer, I think. Yeah. Great to see you, Carl. He's very experienced guy. This is your moment now. Remember the Go place. It. Sell it. Sell it. Sound. Roll camera. Oh yeah, Bollywood. What? <laughs> good. Very good. <laughs> A little bit from Oliver. You gotta do the fucking shoulder. I see it. Good. <laughs> what else? Body popping. Go for it. Lynn, now tease the, tease the camera. Tease the camera. Oh, yes. <laughs> she is. Flirt. Flirt with her. Flirt. Yeah. Ooh. Is this the actual. No, no. Is no, this no, the no. Yes, yes. <laughs> अपन काम करेगा स्टाइल बताओ तानी। पहले जवानी मत हो। Scotland Yard की पुलिस से कम नहीं आए भी आप लोग। Scotland Yard। 
Hamko Malumi Huahe, Ke Bahame, Jungle Rai Sheltaha. सामने वाला के नस पहचान के नीति बनावल कर राजनीति में शुरू किया जाए कि अंदर चल बू What are you going to do about Carly's arrest? Yeah, yeah, do something. Yeah, never any comments, is it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we just watched the whole movie. Oh, no no way they actually filmed it, right? No way. Yeah, oh, they did. Get the fuck. No way, bro. What was it called? Chingari? Chingari. Chingari. I don't know. I used to, bro, Bollywood movies are lit. I don't know if you guys have ever watched them. I've watched a ton because of my parents. Every like fifteen yeah. minutes, there's a Most dance dramatic scene. Dramatic as shit. It actually yeah, came oh, out. It, it there's no way they actually included them in the fucking thing, right? It's two and a half hours. Came out in 2012. Yeah, they're always long. By the way, the two and a half hours is like average for Bollywood movies. Is Carl and uh, Warwick in it? Uh, That's I'm what I mean. That like, right now, I'm watching. Yeah, that. we're gonna look that up. If they actually got included in there. Looks like, though. I wasn't happy. Well, if he's off it. I'd have liked to have done another one, to be honest. Yes, uh, he's hammering in. It was chaotic, though. Yeah, but it was... That's what I like, the freedom to just sort of mix it up. It wasn't very professional, was it? Compared to what? They like, did one take. I wasn't happy with it. It wasn't great. And then they move on. And now that's forever on the No one's going to see it. I'm a professional and I like to get it right. And that was a shambles. I mean, I don't feel comfortable. Look at these trousers. I, I, nothing feels right about this whole thing. Thought it looked all right. <laughs> Good. Hi, Warwick. Um, I hope you enjoyed Bollywood. Time to head to the real India now. Jesus Christ. It's like a Primark sale. I've arranged for you to jump on the train. I think it's a nice, relaxing way to get about. And head to Varanasi. There's a kid being passed through the window here. You'll be seeing one of the most amazing sights in the world, the sunrise over the river Ganges. Fucking hell, man. It's probably the most sacred yeah. place in India for Hindus. And to make sure you don't miss it, you'll be camping overnight oh, on the okay. riverbed together. So uh, enjoy. When you get there, um, you'll be met by a, a fellow called Ravi. Okay, on his boat. See you later. Ravi. Wow, look at that. Shout out, Ravi. The River Ganges. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on here? That's um, one of the, what they call burning ghats. That's where they do the cremations. People come here from all over India with their dead and they cremate them here. You're not going to be looking at the sun then when this is going on. When in the morning a lot of people come down to meditate as well and, uh, and that sort of thing. You know, the sunrise is very significant to them. So, when you die, are you going to be here? I wish for that, sir. You wish for this? Yes, to cremate here, in Varanasi. But chucked on a bit of wood, like that, you're happy with wood, that? Wood, yes. <laughs> the awful thing is, some people can't afford enough wood to fully consume the body. So sometimes there are bits that are left, and then those bits are tossed into the Ganges. Wow. Half-cooked bodies wow. sort of chucked in. Yeah. But again, in their belief, it's going into the Holy River, and the Holy River will take it on to a better well, place. Yeah, look, what's that one there now? Yeah, that'll be a body coming into the river. Then people carry one. You are joking. There was kids down there swimming. You can pay a bit more money for a different sort of wood to be burned with here. Special wood. It's just nonsense. They say, oh, this one's a bit more special, so spend some money. They, they pressurise you into doing things to rip you off. You think I 100% agree with Carl, bro. Like, a lot of those, you know, little fucking stipulations are cap. Yeah, that is what they Pay for in. more. Wo- yeah, I, yeah, I get that's what they believe in. <laughs> but, you know, beliefs are meant to be criticized. Our that's beliefs true. are, you know. 
And it's just like... Like, to them, it's sacred. Like, that's... Where everyone does it. Sure, but I, I understand the, the argument of things being sacred, but the second you start asking me for money, <coughs> I automatically... Like, my American mind gets turned off. Yeah. I go, okay, now you're just bullshitting me. Like, what do you mean? Now I fucking... Now I gotta pay more. It's like what the like what the yeah. church does the same shit. Remember what they used to charge you for um to remove like to have your excommunication removed. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Yeah. So you're gonna excommunicate me for being sinful or whatever for doing something so mm-hmm. bad against the church? But if I pay, I get to come back to the church. It's like that. That's my point. I feel like they use religion and spirituality. To, it's like when like uh you know modern woman buy those spirit rocks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like. What? Why are you spending money on that? And they're like, oh, I'm meditating with it and shit. It's like, you couldn't do it without the rock. That cost you $50. That's my point. I just yeah. feel like it's a... <laughs> you know what's crazy is that when I visited Bali, Bali's more of the Hindu part and Java's the Muslim part of uh, of Indonesia. So for Bali, similar to this, to cremate somebody, it's so, it's so expensive to the point where they have to... They have certain time periods of when they cremate 40 bodies, 50 bodies at once. Jeez. So nobody, if you cremate like your loved one, you're considered rich in that country. So they have like a, a certain period in like a month or two months where they cremate 50 bodies at once. Wow. I yeah. mean, yeah, it's, I get it. Trust me, I get it. But I'm just saying that they sell spirituality and sometimes it's cap. Is that fair? That's fair. Yeah. Things are calm. Well, it is. That's, that's how the world's evolved. I'm sure that when it started, it wasn't like that. There wasn't a bloke there opening up a briefcase with selection of wood. Now, what you do if you really love them, you use this stuff, mahogany. That's right. It's your best wood you can get. Exactly. I'm going to send him to heaven as fast as like any, any of this other old shit. Buy this stuff here. It's a con. If you go into heaven, you're there forever anyway, so what's the rush in getting there any quicker? If, if heaven does exist, I'm worried that I get up there and there's a load of people who I know who annoyed me in this life and suddenly you're on this place with them forever <laughs> people who are a pain in the ass and suddenly hiya Carl oh you're dead are you oh Jesus you mean <laughs> forever hey, he's a genius bro hello just making sure you made it to Baranasi hey, here comes Ricky and uh, to warn you you should get to bed because you've got a really early start to catch the sunrise. All right? I, I, I don't understand travelling to see the sun. It's exactly the same one. Yeah. Let's make the best of it while we're here, yeah? Uh, you want to pitch the tent so it's facing east. Why? Well, then we can open up the flaps and watch the sunrise. The Majesty. I think it's that way. Right, OK. What's... Is it meant to be like a dome? Not really. Oh, this is the instructions. Pop that in there. Pop that at the back. Done. Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. That's all right. Is this really a two-man tent? It's got a picture of two men laying in it on the instructions. I don't think he's that happy. He's just moaning in there when I got in there. He just was moaning a bit. (laughs) I don't want to force him into doing something, because then it's like... Bullying, isn't it? I don't want to bully him if he wants to go in a hotel or something. It would have been nice to see the sun come up, but let's knock it on the head. Well, I don't know. It's... What's awful at the minute? What? What's bad? We've got everything we need. We've got some firewood, we've got a tent. Well, that's all right, then. If that... No, that's fine, I mean? yeah, if you so... want to stay, yeah. We'll do it. Do it, then. Well, as long as you're happy. I'm just thinking about you. Nice, that. <laughs> You know the voices. Probably. Are many people here for the for the sunrise? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the monks. The monks. Yeah. yeah, they do their practice in the night. Some holy people here as well with us. And they try to keep themselves away from the crowd because the crowd disturbing their practices. Why aren't we annoying them? Why are they happy to be so close to us? Why don't no, they go over that way? All of a sudden here in the tenting, they they have no idea you are here. You want to see them? Yeah, they'll be all right. And you, they don't like... You, you've got something in common with them because they don't like crowds and neither do you. Yeah, we can meet the holy people because they could talk about the sunrise and... Yeah? Baba! Mahadev! 
If I call up Ricky and just say Warwick's had enough. No, but I don't. I don't want to be the one that's to blame, do I? Why not? Because I'm not saying that we shouldn't stay here. What's the worst that can happen? Like he's drunk a bit. Yeah, welcome. to the camp. I don't know what's happening. Wait, wait, go back. The bones of the whiteies? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> the bones of the whiteies will shiver. Yeah. Mm. It's fucking Jack Frost. What's happening here? They seem a bit like angry. It's not nice. They're alive. They have life. Yeah, I know that. The wise will see They are not angry. Or he's drunk. They're not angry. They don't sleep. No, they're drunk, right? Right? They have to be. I don't think so. Okay. They don't, they don't sleep. sleep. They don't sleep. Well, well, that's what we'll be like in a couple of days. <laughs> Can we ask about the sunrise? Do you enjoy the sun? He's never up in the morning. He's been up until 3 a.m. He's asleep when the sun comes up. There is no way he's ever seen the sunrise. We can get a hotel, mate. Seriously. Yeah, you're drinking. Right, okay. Right, let's knock it on the head. Because this is getting a bit fucking silly, this. Brilliant, Warwick. Bring him over, he said. Bring him over. Good toss and company. We're in the middle of nowhere, peace and quiet. This doesn't want to be part of it, does he? Look at him. He's thinking, what am I involved in here? Why is he here? Why is he knocking about with these? Is he that tough to make new friends? See, maybe there is something good in Twitter and Facebook and yeah. MySpace and that. It gives you a chance to meet new people. If you live in the middle of nowhere, Look at knocking out with <laughs> He's looking at him like he's a cannibal, bro, ready to eat his next meal, bro. Look at him, look at him. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. I tell you what, I'm not staying here tonight. I'm not interested. I'm not having him as a neighbor. Bollocks to the sunrise. Bollocks to the sunrise. He's hiding. But I would have looked at the words like that. I didn't get to see that sunrise because I don't think I'll ever be coming back here again. Yeah. You know, I want to be yeah. there for that moment and. And be able to sort of share that with the viewers of the show as well. We just asked Carl about it, and he said, "Well, if Oric really wants to go, I'll get up and I'll go." Well, yeah. we, we should go definitely. Well, I did it because you know, if you were getting up, I thought, well, if you're witnessing it, I best witness it. Son, what do you think of that? It's pretty uh, majestic, isn't it? Still burning the bodies. I wonder how long it takes to get a body cooked. Oh, that to see a sunrise. You know, like to, to, to nothingness. Yeah. Mm. Are you meant to wait? If, you, if you're there to see them off, are you meant to wait until it's all gone? I don't know, Carl. Look, we've got ash dropping on us here. Weird that, isn't it? Hmm. So that's one person, isn't it? How yeah. fed up are they going to be having landed on you? <laughs> <laughs> a, little bit of, a little bit of dead body. Oh, Mr. Ganges have landed on Carl. Not off all this way. I look at it now, the light's reflecting off of the, the Ganges. I'm not getting anything. Is that up now then? Can we go? Or what? Is that fully yeah, up? That's that's what we came to see. Yeah. It's fully up. I wanna I wanna watch it for the viewers. <laughs> the sun. I don't it comes bro. up every day. Bro, no lie. Like people go like, oh it's so beautiful. I wanna see a sunrise, bro. It's like bro, come on. I had an ex girlfriend that was in absolute love with the beach and sun sunrises. She made you watch it? And she made me 
this was back in the sad days before I fully became a man, but I'm now fully a man. So she would make us go early in the morning. So, you know, when, when we used to live in the Bronx, could you imagine where I had to go for a sunset? <laughs> I mean, you sunrise. You didn't go to Orchard Beach. To fucking Orchard, Orchard Beach. Beach. Yo, Orchard Beach is legendary. YouTube, bro. look up Orchard Beach. It's the most beautiful place on the planet. <laughs> it smelled <laughs> like cow shit in Yo. that fucking beach. Orchard Beach was this shit. I don't understand. I'm sorry. Maybe it's a guy thing. Or maybe there are guys who like it. I don't know. I don't understand the fascination. Yeah, like if you see it in a picture in a frame, it looks it looks beautiful. But like all the time? Maybe bro. here and there. But right, the right, time, right. Here and there. Like, it's a fucking sunrise. Bro, I but thought, like a sunrise on a random fucking, like on a beach like that? Like, <clears throat> cool. I feel like some people that like, they might never work. I used to see that shit all the time. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. anyway. <laughs> Yeah, for real. That's what I was going to work. <laughs> but be on the train, like, uh, sunrise. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's another fucking day that I got to yeah. go it's drag my ass day. to work. Let us know if we're, we're just Bro, talking shit. Like, I thought I thought it was going to be, like, something different. Like, the Mount Fuji like, he, that he went, the sunrise he did, that, that was different, fine. Though. That's different. It though. is. That's, yeah. you know. I, that's what I thought, too. I thought I was like, oh, it's going to be, like, it's going to, like, show on something. It's going to look cool. And it was just, like, on. Bro, I could yeah. see that at the Hudson River if I wanted to. Yeah. yeah. I, like, come on. Sunrise. What's the bank up? Well, I hope you're going to be a bit more enthusiastic about what I've got lined up for you next. Have you heard of the Indian Circus? No. That's a big deal out here. It's a tradition that goes back hundreds of years. I think we should check it out, get involved, and, uh, you know, maybe even get you on stage. Ah. Here we go again. It's like any excuse in it to get on a stage with you. <laughs> Surprised you haven't got an agent over here, the amount of work you're taking on. <laughs> yeah, watch out. Good Jesus. <laughs> are you fucking serious? Move out the way. Here we are. Welcome, Olympic Circus. <laughs> it hasn't quite got that excitement that I remember a circus having. Look at the roof. <laughs> He's gone. Look at the state of this. What? The hello. Hello, hello. Hello. We're closed. One, two. We're closed. Warwick. Warwick. Very nice to meet you. I'm Carl. Nice to meet you. So uh, I guess we've got to figure out what Carl's going to do in the circus. And you? Yeah. Is it the motorcycle? Yeah. Good Jesus. Yeah, is he going to jump? <laughs> Have you ridden a motorbike? Fire. Yeah. Or something? Fly, it's, fly. Yeah, it's not that different to a bike. You can ride a bike, can't you? Rev and go. Yes. I had a go car yeah. like that. Okay. All right, yeah. You can do this. Globe of depth. Yep. Uh, that looks like a laugh. Me. First time on a bike, so I'm not doing that. Rope. Globe of death. Rope of death. Oh, yeah. death. Oh, my God. Hey, Papa. What the? Okay, yeah. I can't. No, oh, no frog. Frog act. Frog out. He's running out of ideas it's a here. That's a human being in a frog outfit. Making frog noises. <laughs> That's a frog. Yeah. I agree with Noof on this one. You're in the cosplay, aren't you? What? Wait, Fucking what? He's what the, the fuck? You're in the cosplay. I, I think he is, too. How'd you get that from me calling <laughs> it a frog? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's jerking the cosplay. Started off big. Oh. He's bringing out a frog. <laughs> Do they even have frogs in India? Does anyone even know what that is? I'm not doing it as a frog. That doesn't sound like a frog, though. It doesn't. There you go. It's not circus. It's not... Do you know what I mean? I've never heard of a, the amazing keepy uppy man. <laughs> it's never happened. You've got to find the springy point on any of these. Hey! Thank you! Hey! You can do it! Thank you very much. Because he's smaller. <laughs> it's nothing easy. to do with that. I'm a born performer. <laughs> He's got better chances than me of getting the crowd going. I'm going to flatten the night, and I don't know why he doesn't see that. He must have seen it. I've been asking him on my travels, saying, have you noticed how everyone looks? And he goes, they don't. People pretend they don't like to see little oddities they do. Not to laugh at, just because it's different. Right, somersault, yeah? Can you do it? It's hard, this. I've never done it before. You can do a backflip? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at Warwick, he's seen pound signs. <laughs> he's, I, I tell you, we'll have to check the car when we leave to make sure he hasn't had him. He might give us one of his. He's thinking he's getting a bit old now. Get him out, get him in. 
Oh, okay. What time's the frog on? I don't know. But have you what established with Warwick exactly on? what you're going to do? Well, I'm either doing the, the magic trick or the keep you up is... There's no point me trying to learn something new. What do you mean, magic trick? What it's a magic trick that I did at school. Where you, the, the only thing I'm worried about about doing the magic trick is if they're not familiar with the bird thing. The sort of, the, the hanky, the crowd, they're all going, what's he doing? Yeah. A, a sort of so what? bird, and then you pull it away. And there's a bird? No, there's not a bird. That's how I changed that at, at school. It's just an egg, <laughs> and I go, oh, it's not born yet. That's what I like to do with people come out, they're expecting something. They're thinking they know what they're going to get. There's a twist. So what are you going to do? You're not going to say it's a bird. You're just going to have a handkerchief in your hand. Yeah, I'm going to say in the bird. massive arena. Yes. This is close-up magic. And then you're going to go... And an egg. <laughs> How are you saying it isn't born yet to people that don't understand English? How do you say it isn't born yet? A bee. A bee. Beda. A bee better. Beda. Beda. Nahi hua. Is any English people <laughs> in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do more than two minutes. Yeah. There's only 50 in there, they'll all go, get off. <laughs> How about something like Lauren Hardy? Do you think you've heard of Lauren Hardy? Benny Hill and all that, that's still big in places like this. Um, Norman Wisdom. It's slapstick. What's the classic routines? Oh, yeah. Costumes. I was going to say, do you think we've got one that fits, but then... We come out, yeah. bit of a jog. And we're waving. Hey, like that. I yeah. just bend down there. Yeah. Good. Ah. Oh, I don't want to get... <laughs> I respect oh, yes. performance. I've, I've performance seen and, and, and entertainment. But out in the ring, of course, you know, nerves can take over a bit. That's Not for me, enough. for Carl. And he's forgot a couple of bits. Oh, I'm going round again. I'm going round. Don't, don't going it. round again. I'm just. So I know, but I want to run towards you. Know what? Oh, come on. Carl oh, didn't necessarily <laughs> listen to everything I said. He kind of takes it in. And, yeah, 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 yeah. And like, I don't think you're actually listening to me. Come towards me from the front so they can see it. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Where is he? <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> the reason I don't go to circuses at home is because no. it's that. You see, I wouldn't go and watch that. It was more fun being in it. There's no way I'd be sat in there watching me and him doing that. It's garbage. Bloody hell. You ran out of it. It's a power cut. How am I supposed to perform in this? I thought it went all right, considering. <laughs> it would have lifted the roof off the place if it had had one. <laughs> yeah, hold. What you're going to see now, you'll never get the chance to see again. It's a one-off. Oh, my cup of tea. They're known as the Spider Sisters. What? No, spider Sisters. Bro. What are they? Oh. Spider Girls. Siamese. Siamese twins. Siamese? You can't say that. Who said? You just don't... That's, that's not what you say anymore. That's where they, they found them. There was yin and yang or something, there was two fellas. Anyway, what's wrong with that? That's all it's known for, cats and twins. Yeah. So I am. And yet, yet you're happy to take one of the things away from the country that yeah. it's known for. I don't know why you're so fascinated with it. Because it's different, it's something it. different. I've never seen Siamese twins, I've only seen pictures, photographs. Come in the beginning bit and have a look. No, I'm not going in, but I just don't want to be left in the car. I just wonder, you know, if, if, if Warwick wasn't small, would he be just as keen as me? <laughs> but is he thinking, oh, I don't like being looked at, so I don't want to do it to someone else? He's getting a bit mobbed there. Oh, OK. <laughs> Jesus, we're in a village that have the Spider Sisters. Look at it. No. Hello, everyone. <laughs> It's bizarre, isn't it? Hello. 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 We'll try and work out which one's sort of the one in charge. I'm, I'm guessing there's always what it doesn't matter even if they weren't joined. They're still twins. I'm treating them like twins. If you, if you think about Bros, Matt was the leader, wasn't he? And that's what I've got to do. I've got to work out which one is the lead, and then I'll let the other one get on with whatever yeah. she's doing. 
Um, what are the names? Jamuna and Ganga. I'm Carl. Shake that one. And then that one. Ah, right, OK. At the same time. So you, you have total control of the top half. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm just going to wait outside. Let Carl go and ask Why did you go see? Get it out of his system and then we'll be off, yeah? I'm not very good with questions. Not very well. Bad gut. Bad belly. Who's, whose stomach? You have one stomach? One stomach? He said he had all these questions for them. He's trying to sound all like journalistic and worthy. Or, oh, I'm going to ask him what it's like, you know, what, sort of what it feels like to be, be joined. But it won't be that at all, will it? So, if you only have one stomach, who eats? Do you have the main or do you have the pudding? That's a good question. How does it work? That's, that's, yeah, weird. What happens if you wake up early? You want to get up, go to the toilet, but you don't want to wake the other one up? So she could go out for a drink, think what's all the noise? It's because she's in a pub. Is he fucking serious? <laughs> Genius. Genius. Those what's are valid about? questions, bro. Right, maybe they're that meant to be uh, stupid. No, they're not question. stupid questions. They're meant to no, be no, funny, no, no. but like the last one, the last the one. pub. Yeah, the pub. Like, obviously, they wake up. Makes sense. <laughs> what if she's knocked? You know what I'm saying? She's had a long night. Technically, they both have a... All right, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Did Just Carl pay you? I'm trying to... Bro, think about it, though. One wakes up. Oh, I got to use the bathroom, but I don't want to wake the other one up. But, like, don't they have the same bladder? Yeah, that's what I was going to so say. So then wouldn't they it? both have to use the bathroom at the same time? Uh-huh. I can't stand any of you motherfuckers. <laughs> well, I can't imagine having to be joined at the hip with any of you fucks. I'd hate my life. Well, good thing you don't have to. Unfortunately, I do. Imagine there were Here two Henrys. God damn. Bro, the world would end, my boy. Jesus. Imagine there were two U's. We would actually be able to compete with the sun. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Boyfriend or that sort of thing. No. No boyfriends. No. Why do you smile though? You're, you're looking a bit sheepish. Yeah. Both of them, in fact. There's something going on, isn't there? Hey, W Riz in the chat though. Come on, bro. <laughs> He's risen him up. Flirting he, game is on point. You feel he, what I'm saying? You oh. can't. You can't risk two girls at one time. Double head. I don't. I don't. You think that? <laughs> are you fuck? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> do they count as two though? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. No, 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 no. Do they count as two? Yes. No, no, no. But, it's but they're one. Wait, wait, wait. nah. They yeah, have, but they have, like... they have one body though. Yeah. Well, okay, I'm not saying you're gonna. I'm just yeah. saying it's your. It rig... counts as one. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Yes, it bro. does. No, they're called <laughs> sisters. The but they're together. Sisters. Plural. They're together. They're joined. That's they're fine. One. It's two different. Uh, uh, two different minds, but. One person. How's it two different minds? They f they talk at the same time. No, they don't. No, they, they don't. No, they they talk. don't. What are you, the hell are you talking Bro, about? Bro, they finish each other's sentences. But that's not two. Okay, that's, that's fine. That's but they're not two one different. Mind. Two different entities just joined at the hip. They're one thing. No, they are not, bro. One can't move without the other. Okay. No, no, they can move their own. Well, yeah, that's just, you literally just can... said it with your own words. One can't move without the other, implying there's multiple people there. They can't. I Bro, know. That's what control, I'm saying. It's they can too control, different. Like it looks, they can control their own hands. Like, he he uh, said one like. I, I know you can't like obviously parts. he he means like physically move, but like they have their own. I mean, I'm two different. It's two different like people. That. They're one thing. They're, they're two different <laughs> they're people one. in one body. It's one a, thing. They're humans <laughs> with a condition. That's all. They're yeah. still two different humans. They're joined. Can you guys cancel him already? <laughs> <laughs> can you cancel him? They're joined. Oh, Somebody there. Oh, yeah, they're technically what? Well, shut up. They're two different people, bro. That's it. Two people, All right. one body. All right. Yeah, two different things. People, people. <laughs> oh, shit. People. <laughs> uh, I'm glad it's not me because if he wasn't uh, here, it'd be me and I'd be in trouble. But. <laughs>
I'm. Di- this is why I need you like here, that bro. Last time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like my cancellation absorption. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> you could absorb a lot of things. This Look side. at him. Uh, and your head could reflect a lot of things. Yeah, okay. <laughs> look, at, look at the light. Yo, imagine there was two noobs. God damn, World War it Three. Two it's a, it's a nuke, bro. <laughs> your nose makes the sound of the nuke. Good. And know. you blow up like the nuke. Wow. What? <laughs> what did this just, just turn into? This just turned into a roasting session. <laughs> I don't fucking know. If you guys made it this far, I'm sorry, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, it's 40 minutes in. That's true. All right, let's finish this before. One All right, there are one human. <laughs> I mean, two human beings. Yeah, and one body, and one thing, <laughs> and one. Uh, capsule. Shut the fuck. <laughs> who, who are you seeing? Come on. Why is that funny? Something's happened recently, isn't it? So they that they have one boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> you said something fishy, so they're finding that funny. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll let them get ready for the for the show. Thank you. Oh, hey, hey two heads are better than one. There's a saying. They've got that. That's a good thing. Maybe that is how the future will be. That's what we need. More stress in the world. You got to multitask. What? Hello. Okay. That's actually cool. All right, Ricky. How's it going? We sort of took a diversion a bit today, Man and we've come up still. to see um, some conjoined twins, um, which, you know, obviously what what he likes. But what? What do you mean? I don't want it to be like, you know, like no, I know a sideshow. Let me get Carl because I think you need to talk to him about this. Okay. I'm going to get him. Right. Carl, you, it's Ricky. After. Just chill, we'll just have a chat to him about this. Hello? Right. What sort of questions are you asking these conjoined twins? Just just everyday questions. I was saying, what about birthdays? How do you buy each other a gift without knowing what the other one's got you? They were laughing. <laughs> they were having a lovely time with me. Okay. okay. Honestly, everyone's worrying. I said to him, do you mind being called Siamese twins? They started laughing again. Yeah, because they're thinking idiots. No. Ignorant idiots. No, they were Wait, is it that serious? I didn't know that. What's the problem? I don't know. I mean, I maybe the I guess fuck? they want like them to be viewed as like just a regular person. That's fine. What, that's fine. Did, you, you, they have a dwarf on the show. What the fuck? What is what is am, is it an unpopular? I don't even care anymore. Is it unpopular opinion that I have? Am I the controversial one? Why do people care? Mm. Like, okay, if they said, if much, they, though. right, but if they said, listen, we're offended, we don't want, okay, fine. But like, I, why do people get offended for other people? I cannot, un- that, that's a concept that, that is I absolutely foreign. I do not understand. I think people I, feel, like, I, I feel like people actually think that another person can't speak up for themselves and it should be their job to uh, <clears throat> say something. But aren't they then inherently almost subconsciously belittling that yeah, person much. or people. 100%. So, like, in essence, you're the one, whoever's claiming offense for somebody else is the one that's looking down on yeah, that mm-hmm. individual. You know you know what's funny, though? Those are the same people, but they'll, they'll say something over the internet. I guarantee you, if they saw someone getting bullied or something like that, they, they, they wouldn't stand up. Person. Right. Absolutely nothing. Right. And that, that shit is and, corny. And, and that's my problem. Like, what... I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. The fuck. Were <laughs> well, they looking at your head? Did they mention your head? Because they noticed something different about you. No, there's not. I'd be interested if you sort of noticed people staring no. at you. No. I just don't want it to they be were, treated though. like I don't know one of those awful tacky shows where it's just. That's it. exploitation. The thing is, Ricky, I know what you're saying, but you should see the crowds there when Warwick was walking down the street. Exactly. It's the same thing. People just like seeing little sort of oddities in life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm standing right next to him, Ricky. That's what humans do. We've evolved. We learn to stand up. We learn to light fire. We learn to say, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> You that's, what I was, that's what I was doing tonight, just saying, what, what's going on here? I've never seen anything like it. The irony is, Carl, you are the strangest little oddity in the world. <laughs> you are stranger than any person you've ever seen or spoken to. All right. Anyway, I'm off All to right. see him live. Okay. They're doing a show tonight. Are they? 
Yeah. Hard bit. It's amazing they get around, doesn't it, so well? I know, they've got it all mapped out. Amit, is it OK if, if I ride them to work? Taking them to work. I can't yeah. believe this. Look at him going off like he's some sort of hero now. Is this good? He's just left me here. I don't seem to exist at the minute. He's so tied up in this whole what's going on that I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. He's just he's got off. He didn't even think to give me a lift. When it comes yeah. to the Spider Sisters, oh yeah, he'd do anything. He's I probably in there now doing their makeup for them. Ready for the show. This is where you work. Next time on An Idiot Abroad. You guys want to watch the preview? Nah. I think it ruins it sometimes. Yeah, yeah we can just watch it. Yeah. Leave... Bro. I don't give a shit. I'll, I will die on that hill. For the rest of my I will die on that hill. I will not. <sighs> I did, like, the thing about exploitation is it's exploit. Like, if they want to do it, what do you shut up? Like, who are you to tell them no, not to do it? Bro, if, like, what they're doing, it's smart, bro. Like, uh, you can't do what everyone else can. You gotta, and you still gotta make ends meet, in a sense. Yeah, I mean, you gotta use what you got. That's yeah, the the like the way Carl did it, he was like joking and like just talking to them, bro. That was that was great. They it liked was, there it. Was nothing it's wrong harmless. with it. He was like playing with them, and he was giving them like you know just commentary, and they were just going back and forth. And if it was exploitation, mm -hmm. they would have never let him. Like the people there would have never let him in. Right, that's what I'm Come saying. On. It's like, guys, it's not. It's, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe we're just arguing with each other, and it's not actually a big controversial thing. But, just, but like knowing today's society, I feel like people make it. It's a big worse today than it was back then. That's Jesus what I'm saying. Christ, that's what I'm saying. Man. Knowing today's society, they would make it a big thing. <sighs> but this go around in India was better. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. First go around. Ricky, Ricky didn't put him in a shithole. <laughs> but they went to like a, a, a castle mansion yeah, hotel. Yeah. Or it got the nice room, though, Carl. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. You, you know Ricky intentionally wants to fuck with him, but good episode, man. This means, Absolutely. you know what this means? One left. One left. Who's doing it the way we're doing it, guys? Can you explain to me who's doing it as quickly as we're doing it? Yeah, we would have been done with this if it, if it wasn't for him. Just letting you guys know. That's facts. Yeah, we always finish fast. <laughs> right, guys? No, it's just you, buddy. Oh, oh man. <laughs> One minute quitter. It's um, ended there. Bro. That's it. <laughs> <laughs>